Okay, let's see what's happening in the reef. We have a new toadstool up there, and next to it the clavelari is doing very well. We have our first LPSs to Euphilias. And this is the first time I see this. The clownfish seem to have found a nest. A singularia dura. A second sarcophyton. Toadstool. And this is a lobophyton, the first of the two I have now. A rhodactis. An actinodiscus or zebra. Uh, discosoma and this is my favorite discosoma well second or one of the top three because it has lots of yellow and cyan colors on it and here we have snails moving around the one in the hair is an asarius the other one is a Ooh, I don't remember the name of that one. This is another one of the top three. It came unglued and it seems to be bubbling up. We'll see how that goes. That's the third toadstool. And that's the second lobophyton. Let's see if we can zoom into that one. And then we have some more actinodiscus or discosoma, which are not very impressive. A Florida Ecordea. This is the third of my best. I love this one too. The dots are almost white, green white. And on top of that, this is what's supposed to be a Superman, but it looks more like a strawberry. And an orange one with green undertones. And then we go to our simularias. The ultra fluo green. And the more mated teal green. Then we have the interstellar humus. And that's not a simularia. That's a Kenya tree, I believe. And that might be also another... Uh, toadstool, I'm not sure though, it looks like it, it was a present. And then we have our zoo garden, which is shaping up very well. Except for this palithoa, which came almost dead, and only one very tiny one is living up to its sturdy name. And other actinodiscus that is very bright red with a green mouth and my first gorgonia at the very end and that's basically it